तो यार ऐसी बात पे सब पागल I'm gonna say something controversial, and I don't care. I don't care how trendy or cute or fun it seems to be fat. Don't let that shit fuck with your head. Don't let the idea that oh I could catch it no matter how big I am cause you to forget about your health and to keep gaining weight. I actually feel kind of guilty for being a part of this movement, and I know it's not my fault or my responsibility to keep other people's health, but. Being a pioneer in this game, like I literally was one of the first influencers to work with Fashion Nova before they even had a plus size line. So when I say I'm a pioneer, I'm a pioneer. I'm one of the main reasons why we have the plus size fashion industry that we have. And you could argue with anybody; that's the truth. And my point is, is that I see a lot of fat girls who gain a lot of weight from being caught up in this movement and turning around five, six, seven years later, talking about, "Damn, I let my health go to shit. I got this problem now. I'm 400 pounds. I can't do this. I can't do that." Babe, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Being attractive, being able to still wear nice clothes, is not the end all, be all. You got to really think about your health. Because when you're in your 20s, you think that life is just rainbows and candy. You don't even think about the future. But when you start creeping up in age, babes, it's gonna catch up to you. I don't care what nobody say. Uh, hey man, I'm all I'm all for. I don't I don't mind plus size women or BBWs as they some people will call them. But like, man, health is health is wealth. Health is very important. Yeah, some people can't help it, and it's 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 trickier than just you know losing weight. It's there's other shit that goes into it. But for the people that can, man, I advise you if you're young now and you're big, or if you're out of shape, man, go to the gym, work out from home, get get that get that situated, man, because that shit will cause long term effects. And uh, trust me, you don't want to be in your twenties and your thirties and and dealing with that shit, and then that that shit becomes a long term like later down the line that shit come to bite you in the ass. So I would say. Nip, Nip that, that shit in the bud, bud now. Like, yeah, I mean, but hey, let's see what else you gotta say real quick, man. I'm not saying that every fat person is unhealthy. Hello, I'm fat. I'm not claiming that you gotta hate fat people. That's literally yeah, yeah, the I opposite never. of what I'm saying. Yeah, we're not spreading no. First and foremost, we're not spreading no hate in here, bro. None to fat women to to to. to I don't want to say fat to plus size women, bigger women, whatever the case may be. We ain't spreading hate, bro. That's a lot. But let's be but for health, real. Health. Your health is very is the most important thing, bro. That's health is real. Organs failing is real. Diabetes, heart disease, all that shit is real. Okay. Yep. It's not fat phobic to care about your health. And if nobody else wants to say it, let me fucking tell you the truth. You Love yourself at any size. Wear the yes. clothes you want to wear, but don't forget that your heart has to beat, babes. Yeah. Don't forget that your blood sugar has to keep a balance, babe. Yeah. No amount of Instagram pictures looking cute and being an influencer wearing a size whatever you are is gonna stop your heart from not beating if you eat and uh, bacon every day. Yeah. And this is coming from someone who's learning those fucking, those 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 lessons now myself. So to the younger girls, the younger generation, take care of your health. It's not fat phobic to take care of your health. It's not a joke. You know what's sad still, though? It, it probably, probably took her saying this for other people to kind of have a, di a, a different opinion about it. Because for some like. like like boom, I've been preaching these niggas and other people on social media platforms have been saying this. You know what I'm saying? But maybe some people approach me or how people take certain things if they don't like you already. Maybe that affects it. But for somebody to come from that community, uh, to be a part of the fashion and in that kind in that industry as well, so it's kind of you know what I'm saying she's tied in on on different perspectives when it comes to this shit. Uh, I, I feel, feel like, like now the narrative in the conversation might change, bro. But let's we'll see, man. Let's see what these. What else? Saying this out of love, not out of self hate. I see a lot of my fellows, fellow content creator, fellow plus size, fellow bloggers, whatever you want to call them, plus size models, now talking about wanting to get healthy, now talking about needing to da 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 da. Because five, six, seven years ago, when they were twenty two, when they were twenty one, twenty five, it wasn't a problem. Now you're 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, whatever the case is, and you're like, damn, I can't get pregnant. I'm getting, I have this problem. I got that problem. The problems creep up, babe. And the reality is loving yourself also includes taking care of your body. If you want this body to last 100 years, you got to take care of it. So don't let me, don't let nobody else convince you that taking care of your health is fat phobic. And if Ooh. somebody's telling you that, it's because they're miserable and they want you to die and stay fat like them. These are clips in reaction to what the other girl has just said. I don't even like to make videos anymore, but I have to say something about this, um, because I have some 
have some own opinions on this. As a fat person myself, why are you mad that there are more fat influencers? We grew up not having any, us, the people that are in our 20s, grew up not having any um, Tumblr promoted very much pro Anna bullshit. And um, there are ways we can censor that now because there are more fat creators that people can go to to look for. I don't think that y'all really care about other people's health because y'all don't talk about skinny people. Y'all don't talk about, you know, y'all don't, your mindset, you don't have disabled people in your mind. You don't have people that have medical issues. You don't have people that were born that way. My uncle was born big bone. Stop using disabled people please, to shield yourself mm. from valid criticism. Mm. It ain't because they got a valid reason to be fat that it makes, and not even that, because even disabled people like we have to do a lot to maintain it and fight mm -hmm. it, okay? Exactly. And they're not, think, they're not talking like you. Mm -mm. Don't use, oh, they got a thyroid, that's not you. Stop, and, and the people you're using hate when you do that too. They hate it. Don't, you, you only care about disabled people when they're convenient for your argument. The percentage of people affected with hypothyroidism is 5%. So it's not all y'all. Move on. So I already left a comment about this and I wasn't gonna say anything else because my moods are already gathering her. <laughs> but I gotta say something. Like I, I really tend to sit back and mind my business. I'm not minding my business because it's people like her that generally make my ass itch to the 10th degree. Y'all only ever want to have conversations about health and wellness when it comes to fat people. What? what? No, that isn't true. People have conversations about health and wellness when it comes to alcoholics, when it comes to people on substance abuse. Oh, people talk about health and wellness on a whole different variety of stuff. They talk about it in a sexual context when people are out there doing things frivolously. That's why there's so much sexual awareness. We talk about health so fucking often it's crazy. Yeah. And I'm grateful. I think it's good. We it's need to be more conscious, conscious especially right. when there's so much bad shit that we can eat. There's so many bad habits we can easily fall into. When so many things are easily accessible, we're talking about banning cigarettes in places. Health is That's a common well. I discussion. I fucking hate cigarettes, my nigga. Hate, hate cigarettes. I hate mouths. Like, all of that shit, bro. I really hate all that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But That's me. Hope, uh... I think, I think her argument is, is, is definitely, definitely flawed. flawed. I feel like when, when it's when it comes to certain criticism and shit like that, that like listen, in the original video, video what the woman said, man, she was not saying nothing wrong, man. She's, she's just saying, saying like later on down the line that shit is gonna affect you, bro. Being, being big, respectfully, in the future is going to affect you because it has to do with your health. If you're drinking and, and you're doing it for long periods of time and all that like it may not affect you in your, your, your teen years and your, your, tw your early 20s. Later on down the line, this shit is going to affect you. Like, come on, son. We got to... And, 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 and they're all in the in the now moment and, and in the now headspace. So, of course, they're going to be defense... Def the, they're going to be defensive... Uh, defense, ah! Defensive. They're going to be defensive about that shit. And that's cool. But in five, ten years, what, you're going to look back and be like, what was the message I was giving the youth? Because the youth, the youth now is listening to what we're doing now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not affecting you because you're young, it's cool. But like, so like she said, bro, when you hit them, them 20, them 25s and them 8 and them 30s, and that shit is going to be, and then now you're going to be trying to regress with the statements. Like, you know, we shall, and by then, youth is going to be like, man, fuck y'all in our site guys because people are becoming much more health conscious today than they have ever been right. i grew up in a time where people used to be smoking indoors yeah how do you that think that weird. changed that people started voicing sick. health concerns it became a big topic of conversations and then there was a bunch of laws that ended up being passed because they felt like it was an issue and the same thing you said for a lot of different habits health is often discussed so i reject the notion that we don't talk about it Only that is not true comes to what do you want huh? Only when it comes to being Sorry. fat. Come on. Son. Let me say that one more time. Y'all only ever want to have conversations about health and wellness when it comes to fat people. Y'all are not addressing food deserts. Y'all not talking about how unaffordable health care is. You're not bringing up the fact that people with diabetes have to ration their insulin because they can't afford it. Do you know how expensive asthma inhalers are? Like, do you understand that people don't have access to basic resources? What is this deflection? 
I remember people talking about healthcare not being accessible for a long time. It has nothing to do with you. People with all kinds of disabilities, different issues, health problems, having to go to avoid the hospital because you don't want to pay a big medical bill. Like, this has been a topic. How do you think Obamacare even came about? Or some of the... Yeah, I don't... I, 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 I reject, reject the, the notion. notion. I reject the notion. Subsequent bills that came afterwards. This idea that people don't talk about the healthcare system and how things are unaffordable is totally not true. This is not true. This comes down to the same thing that I was saying earlier. Was like, it almost looks like every fat person who like does this kind of stuff online has the same talking points, and they repeat it verbatim. Mm -hmm. You bring up that there's a health crisis and that people got to make better choices, and they start rattling off things where they can deflect and not have to talk about the issue. Anymore. But that's exactly what something that is triggered does. Uh, Trust. Guys, every day I take me one of these full spectrum infused gummies and yeah, get my day yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. makes my day off. Come on, man. This one was really interesting because like her main rebuttal was just immediately drawing a bunch of like false equivalencies to try and make her point when really they have nothing to do with anything. Like yes, all of those things are very valid things to talk about in the medical system, very valid concerns, but just because all of those things exist does not mean we shouldn't talk about other things that exist. Thank you. Shout out to you, homegirl. Who is this? Megan Ann? Shout outs to you, basically. Megan, Megan Ann. Oh, she was... Are you really going to sit here and tell me obese people aren't as big as you think they are when- because when I look at this photo, um, what? I'm not saying that you have to look like the two women on the left, but there is something clearly wrong with the woman on the right. Not saying that she's not worthy and deserving of love, because she is. But she is unhealthy. She can hardly fit in her freaking shoes. I am so confused. Why on earth would we promote people walking around and looking like this? It's not healthy. And it's honestly mean to say that someone is Yo, man, let's, let's, let me, let me, let me, maybe, maybe, uh, yo, listen. If a woman is too skinny, or uh, is it bulimic? I think that's the word. I hope, hopefully, because this video, I'm not editing shit. <laughs> this is one take, one clip. We we rolling with the with the punches. Uh, if a woman is bulimic, that is also unhealthy. And I'm if I'm if I'm not mistaken, the the the, the definition of bulimic hmm, I might be using that one wrong. Now that I'm thinking about it. But if a woman is too skinny, that is that is unhealthy. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like that, 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 that can cause a health concern. So, so a woman uh, on the on the same spe in the end of the other spectrum, if a woman is too big, she's also indeed unhealthy. I feel like back in the early 2000s, we were talking about the women. Yo, used to be skinny women. That used, I mean, used to be women that used to want to be so skinny they would make themselves throw up. I think that is what bulimic is. Hmm. Oh, that's some kind of form of it. I'm gonna look back. Hopefully, I'm right. Hopefully, I'm not over here spilling some bullshit to y'all, but. It used to be women who used to be like, if they get too big, they just go and th and, and make themselves throw up. That is unhealthy. Being Feeling like you need to be too skinny or a skinny for a model figure, that is an unhealthy behavior. That, you know what I'm saying? Same thing here. This woman is, yo, know, like she said, she can barely finish her shoes. My nigga, I'm pretty sure she's cutting off wild circulation. That is, come on, bro. Come on, we, we speak about both sides of it, bro. Beautiful and all this stuff. When I'm pretty sure these women, I hope... You know what? It's like we're literally lying to them and making them think that it's okay to be that way when it's really not because it's hurting their health and it's shortening their lives. If you really care about people, you tell them the truth. I just saw the video that everyone on Body Positive TikTok is talking about and I want to make a very quick point that anyone who talks about fatness being trendy or a trend or cool, don't listen to them. They are not credible. Anyone who says that is honestly delusional because look at how fat phobic and diet centric and just demonized fat people and fatness is in society. Who is saying it's a trend? Who is saying it's trendy? It's demonized everywhere. What's to look forward to? What's cool about it? What's trendy? Getting harassed on every single platform? You can be both. You can be trendy and demonized. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm watching right now. I have no clue what I'm watching right now. I don't, I don't know. Like, what am I, what's going on, man? Hey, let's spread, we're going to spread love and, 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 and wealth and health, man. That's it, man. Black people are demonized, but hella trendy. Yeah. It's been trendy on TikTok. People are stealing the dances and doing that and everything in the third, stealing the music and all. That. Yo, this is why I fuck with Abba and Preach, bro, because they really, they really, you feel me? They they give you the insight, my nigga. Like, black people are a perfect example of being demonized and trendy. The world hates black people, but will follow all the trends that black people place. Like, when it comes to dances, when it comes to music, when it comes to, to, to styling clothing, like, 
bro. Like, this shit is fucking insane, bro. They will literally take something black, black art or, or something from a black person, put it in a machine, switch some things up, and then give it out to the world. And don't give black people no kind of, like... Oh, yeah, we, we got, got that, that from black, black people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is... That's, that's, what, they, that's, what, they, that's what they call culture vultures. Like, they're still the culture and then, like, try to fix it up a little bit or, or tag some things on it so it's not exactly like it. But come on, bro. We know where the fuck you got it from. Trendy. Demonized. Perfect, perfect example. You can be both. Perfect example. So the fact that some bad thing nah, is that you could be my boy preach is not preach it, man. Bad. Talk to the people, man. Talk, Talk to them. One tag. People can be many things at the same time, and sometimes those things mm-hmm. are the opposite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll give you. Go ahead. Sometimes, not long ago, Kim Kardashian was talking about the beauty standards, and she was saying, "Oh." The beauty standards is so it's so excessive and it's hard to keep up and this and that and I went, bitch. You're the beauty standard. True. You are the reason why people oh, are like that. If people not the look reason, like one you, of. but this thing can become bigger than you, and you have to keep up with it. Hence, making you. Also a victim of what you created. Yeah, Kim K got a patent on BBLs. Mm. Every time you get a BBL, one dollar goes to her legal fund that she uses against Kanye. That's, 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 yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Almost that's, yeah, that's, that's funny. That's a good one. Also. But but that but that's pretty much it. So yeah, the fact that you could be one and the other, yeah, it's possible. So you speak to your example. We demonize pills mm-hmm. and illegal substances all the time. Mm-hmm. Guess but, what? There's also other subsets of our culture that encourage it. Remember lean and music? Yeah. There's ways in which even though something can be demonized in certain subsets, in other ones we can be encouraging and pushing it to people and making it cool and accessible. Yeah, that's a fact, bro. Problems Very that encourage cycle, a lot of this stuff. But there's absolutely culturally issues that enable your behavior. I don't think being fat is trendy, but I do think it honestly has become more socially acceptable over time. I'm not saying that's a bad thing either, because representation is very important. I think we also have to be honest, uh, and also just absolutely not surprising that like a fat acceptance creator would just diminish someone else's experience right away without really listening to what they're trying to say. Uh, I feel like that happens often. Somebody who was part of the whole fat acceptance thing, uh, and a pioneer of it, realized some of the things that are wrong with it, and now she's being accused of being a grifter, a sellout, uh, engaging in fat phobia for telling people to be health conscious to really start to take it into consideration. <laughs> and now it got so bad she ended up deleting her video and pretty much going offline for a little bit because she was being harassed by so many of these people from That's the right, fat yeah. acceptance movement. Listen. Man, let's see what let's, uh, let's see what my son gotta say real quick. It's either life moves you or it removes you. Two things. Man, take, take care of yourself, yourself man. man. Fuck all that, man. Take care of your health. It's the most important shit, bro. You only got one life. Live this shit, man. Live, live this shit for the long haul. Because you got people that love you. You got more memories and more things to give back to the world. A lot than you do that. That's all I'm going to say on that, man. Y'all be easy out here. Let me know how y'all feel about that, though. Word.